You've had a tremendous career, right? You've worked at some of the most legendary companies in Silicon Valley. And on the surface, it seems very positive, right? But I'm curious, like, how are you able to scale yourself? Because you went from like working at Facebook, high growth company, but a pretty big company to kind of just being a big tech exec at these B2B companies. And so can you talk about that journey of scaling yourself? And were there any tough moments for you sort of personally <laughs> along the way? Uh, but thank you. That's very generous of you. Um, I, I don't I, I don't go home and have my kids call me a big time tech exec, so I'll take that. But you are. But you are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it's 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 funny because oftentimes it's easier to look back than it is to look forward. And when I think about every one of those moves and and the plenty of mistakes that I've made as well, there's a lot of learning involved. And I'll say this: my my old CEO and years ago Ken Fisher used to say it's better to be lucky than it is to be good. And I would say that you know, for every single move that I've tried to make them my, my career, I think at the time, it didn't really look like a, ah, aha, this is the natural next thing to do at the time, right? When I left the investment industry to go to Facebook, every other social media company before it had gone kaput. Uh, and so who's to say that wasn't going to happen at Facebook? And my mom was telling me, don't do it. And, and meanwhile, I knew I wanted to get exposure to tech at a top tier tech company and be able to watch hopefully an industry transformation if it played out. Um, the move to MuleSoft, similarly, you know, my mom was like, don't do it. I think you'll hear a similar refrain here. You're leaving this you know, top tier tech company to go to some random company that's been around for 10 years and maybe is on an IPO path, but maybe not. To go back from running field sales teams to like SDRs and inside sales, what was the goal of it? And just to be really clear of like what I was hoping to get and learn and the experiences I wanted to have, so that I can work on completing myself and, and getting those experiences. And even with trip actions, you know, hey, leaving a post IPO company that's still scaling and selling off to Salesforce for six, seven billion dollars, like, you know, would you rather be an SVB at SVP at Salesforce or the CRO of a random company that nobody's ever heard of? Uh, for me, I thought, you know, one, I love travel. Two, I had a lot of faith in the, the vision and and the strategic mind of, uh, of Ariel and Yon and that leadership team. And, you know, thought, you know what, at some point I want to learn an early stage software company, let's give it a shot. And, uh, and if it doesn't work out, you know, I can always go back and do something else. So I think there, at every point there were a lot of mistakes and screw ups along the way. And certainly learnings that I've had from, from not doing the right thing, but, you know, I, I tend to think about careers as long things and, over time, as long as I'm still learning new things and, and reflecting and growing as a human uh, and as a, as a professional, hopefully that's, you know, the name of the game, right? So um, by the end of it, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to look back and say, hey, I, I grew, I had some impact, I created some impactful and, and memorable teams. And, you know, that's really the goal, but we'll see. Ask me in 10 or 20 years and I'll tell you if that happened. We can record this again in 10, 20 years if I'm still doing this, you know? <laughs> Along with the yeah. New York Times from today. Yeah, I love it. No, I mean, I think it's it's great career advice for anyone is like, you know, follow your learning path and look for jobs based off, I think, where you see the most opportunity to learn whatever is most interesting to you. And I think that's that's great advice for, for yeah. anybody who's listening to And it this. doesn't have to stay the same all the time, right? Yeah. You might learn and go, oh, I really don't like this yeah. thing. And I need to be back doing this other thing. But with 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 that method of success at appro successive approximations, hopefully you can at least cut out the types of things that don't bring you energy um, with, every, uh, with every new transition.